My name is Ghazal Dhaliwal. For the past 12 years, I've worked as a screenwriter. One of the reasons I chose this job was that I never got to see my communities on screen. It's as though people like me don't deserve to have stories. My biological sex was in constant conflict with my psychological gender. A section of India's trans folks have actually been out and visible for centuries, but they are now made to live on the margins of society. For most of us, thriving is a distant dream. Just surviving takes immeasurable effort, resources, and courage. I want to make myself a respectful person who can live with a dignity. You could either beg, you could sell your body, or you could dance. I visited trans people across India fighting to earn a living to ask them the one question every trans person faces. Do I have to choose between who I am and what I want to do? This is transnational. Mehek, Aisha and Sitara have one of the most important jobs and it's as old as India's civilization. They bestow blessings. They are kinners, but Indians from other places might also call them Hijra, Aravani or Jogappa. Kinners are trans people, but they're also beings straight from our myths. They are demigods who sing in heaven and dance in our legends. In the real world, there's an organized Kinnar society called the Guru Chela system. A guru is a teacher, Chela a disciple. Each guru takes on a Kinnar, gives them love, housing, and teaches them the ways of the community. But under British rule, Kinnars faced immense persecution. The after effects still weigh heavy on them. Now these demigods are pushed to the fringes, left to beg or do sex work. Giving blessings was once an honor, but now it's one of the few jobs society sees acceptable for a kin. Today I'm following Mehek, Aisha and Sitara on their typical work day, which usually means meeting with several families. Ladki paidahvi mubarak ho aapko. तुझे कमाई में बरकत दे लक्ष्मी है पहली लक्ष्मी है याद रखना ये नहीं सोचना कि लड़की भी मुंह उदास नहीं रखना लड़का भी और लड़की बराबर हो गई टक्कर देने के लिए बहुत खुश है लड़की भी ना इसलिए खुश है बाप ज्यादा खुश होता माँ से ज्यादा बाप उनकी हम गोद भरते हैं जिनके घर में जैसे रोजी पानी की बरकत नहीं होती है मर परेशानी होती है उनके घर में जाते हैं दुआ आशीष करते हैं नजर उतारते हैं तो वो सब ताकत और वो सब इल्म हमारे को हमारे गुरु हमारे बुजुर्ग देते इंस्टाग्राम पे क्या आईडी है सुजुका इंस्टाइडी मैं दिन में चौतीस खानदान के घर को जाके चौतीस खानदान का पानी पी के आता कितना कमाई हो जाता है आपका आपके हिसाब से एक दिन का पाँच सौ भी हो जाता है एक दिन का तीन सौ भी होता है कभी अच्छी बधाई मिल गई अच्छा तो हजार मिल गया तो हजार भी आ जाता है बारह सौ भी आ जाता है में चार दिन हम काम पे रहते तो आ, मतलब चार दिन मतलब घर में सड़ते ऐसा रो 
को तंग करते थे या कैसे आपने छोड़ा अपना घर या घर में नहीं मैंने भी घर छोड़ी हूँ मैं सात साल की उम्र में घर छोड़ी हूँ सात साल की उम्र में घर छोड़ के माँ बाप ने मतलब बोल दिए तू हमारा नाम डूबो रहा है किन्नरों की लाइफ में कभी भी उनकी फैमिली ही पहला दूध काटती है फिर दुनिया दूध काटती है हमें भी हट फील होता है आज तुम बाहर निकलती हो तुमको कोई छेड़ता है तो तुम्हारे को बचाने के लिए चार मरद खड़े होंगे हमको बचाने कोई नहीं आता है हमको छेड़ने चार और आएंगे बचाने कोई नहीं आएगा पब्लिक के लिए जैसे एक पाँच साल के बच्चे के लिए खिलौना होता है ना बाजार से माँ बाप ने ला के हाथ में थमा दिए खेल ले बेटा तेरी उम्र बढ़ गई तोड़ के फेंक दे तो वो जिंदगी हमारी शादी होगा नाचने के लिए बुलाएंगे नाचाएंगे हमारा नेक हमारा सगन हमारे हाथ पे भी रखेंगे मगर जो इज्जत जो चीज मिलना चाहिए एक इंसान को जो दी जाती वो नहीं देने के लिए हिचकिचाहट करते जब उनके घर में औलाद नहीं होती तो दुआ देने लेने के लिए पहला आते क्या Because many kinners leave their homes, a lot of them don't finish school. That has a huge impact on their ability to make money, and it's not just limited to the kinner community. India has an estimated 500,000 trans people based on the 2011 census. Not all of them are kinners, but even those who aspire to blend into the rest of society and get regular jobs are facing enormous obstacles. Christie is a trans man from Bangalore. When he came out as a teenager, he ran away from home twice. Eventually, a group of trans women took him in, but he's been struggling to find consistent work. Especially work he feels passionate about. अच्छा अभी काम के बारे में बताओ काम कभी चालू किया अठारह साल का बाद शुरू किया पहला जॉब मेरा संगमा में था ऑफिस असिस्टेंट का काम शुरू किया कि बैंक में जाना और पेपर कटिंग्स करना ऐसा सब मैंने काम शुरू किया फीमेल बॉन्स सेक्शन में इसका अंदर कम्युनिटी ऑर्गेनाइजर एज अ फीमेल बॉन्स सेक्शन में के लिए काम शुरू किया सेंटर फॉर एडवोकेसीस एडवोकेसी एंड रिसर्च तो वहाँ पे मीडिया मॉनिटरिंग का काम किया तो हमको हमेशा न्यूज़ देखना है तो न्यूज़ में क्या आता है हमारे बारे में कोई गलत से बात करते हैं क्या क्योंकि हमेशा मीडिया में ट्रांस वीमेन को गंदा तरीके से नाम से पुकारते हैं एल जी बी टी क्यू एन जी ओज ऑफर सेफ्टी टू वर्किंग ट्रांस पीपल बिकॉज गेटिंग अ जॉब एल्सवेयर इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट डूइंग वेल इन इंटरव्यूज और निगोशिएटिंग एन ऑफर इट्स अबाउट एंट्रिंग अ वर्क इन्वायरमेंट and being accepted for what you know and how you can contribute aap jo maine pehle aap se baat ki thi aapne mujhe ye bhi bataya tha ki aapne beech mein ek mahina kahin kaam kiya tha unhone aapko bahut bura treat kiya aap se puchte the uterus ke bina ladki kaise hai wagaira wagaira aap uske bare mein batao mujhe to unko ye main jo ja raha hu to main us time par surgery wagaira nahi hua tha to jo uska director hai unko maloom hai main kaun hu बट uh, वहाँ पे जो uh, आजू बाजू में जो मेरा कोलिग्स थे उन लोग थोड़ा बहुत ज़्यादा uh, उनको इरिटेट होते थे या कुछ कीड़ा पड़ते थे उनको तो उन लोग आके हमेशा मुझे लंच टाइम पे या कुछ भी टाइम होने दो मुझे बहुत पूछते थे कि आपको पीरियड्स होते हैं आप कैसा लड़का बन सकते हो आपको क्यों लड़का बनना है तो आप क्यों लड़की को शादी नहीं कर सकते हो सो so, ऐसा उन लोगों का क्वेश्चन मुझे थोड़ा बहुत तकलीफ लेके आता था कि मैं इनके साथ कैसा काम करूं आगे अ जॉब इज नेवर मियरली अ जॉब फॉर अ ट्रांस पर्सन इट्स अ वे फॉर अस टू नो एंड टू टेल अदर्स दैट वी आर मोर देन आवर बॉडीज बट व्हेन क्रिस्टी वाज नॉट एबल टू फील दैट वर्थ एट हिज जॉब ही टुक द प्लंज इनटू फॉलोइंग हिज पैशन ऑफ शूटिंग एंड एडिटिंग वीडियोस तो वहां से मेरा जर्नी थोड़ा अलग तरीके से शुरू हुआ कि मैं हमेशा वीडियो में जाने का जैसे Mm. Acha idhar Christy is teaching himself filmmaking via YouTube and his favorite subjects are right at home It's like they know they have to perform for the camera hai na almost hum log pose sab deta hai 
अभी कौन सा प्रोजेक्ट कर रहे हो आजकल अरवानी प्रोजेक्ट ये वॉल पेंटिंग्स करते हैं और इसमें जो भी है ज्यादा ट्रांस वुमेन लोग आप जब ये एडिट करते हो उससे पहले आप स्क्रिप्ट बनाते हो नहीं मैं पहला प्लान कर लेता हूँ कि मुझे किसका ऊपर फोकस करना है क्योंकि अभी कोविड टाइम में ज़्यादा लोगों को काम गया तो मीडिया ने इनको ऊपर फोकस ही नहीं किया कि ट्रांस वीमेन को भी जॉब लॉस हुआ ये इनका ऊपर फिल्म बना अभी तक इसमें है आई डी ड्रीम जॉब क्या जॉब में ऐसा कुछ नहीं है जो भी जॉब हो जॉब मिलता मैं एडजस्ट कर लेता हूँ पर आपको जॉब नहीं देते नहीं नहीं देते, मीडिया क्योंकि में। आप आप पढ़ाई नहीं किया है आपका पास कैमरा हैंडल का कुछ सर्टिफिकेट नहीं है मेरा पास इतना सर्टिफिकेट है कि कुछ फायदा नहीं है तो मुझे वो मुश्किल है और ज़्यादा कम्युनिटी लोग पढ़ाई लोग नहीं है हमारा जो एल में ज़्यादा पढ़ाई लोग नहीं है आधे में एजुकेशन छोड़ छोड़ देते हैं वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पुशेज फॉर इंडियज ट्रांस राइट केम इन ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन Well in a landmark verdict today the Supreme Court granted legal recognition to transgenders and has directed the center and all state governments to treat them as socially and educationally backward classes which means they will get reservations in educational institutions and public appointments making trans people a protected group means a portion of jobs across the federal government should be reserved for them then in 2019 the government of india passed a so called transgender persons protection of rights bill which they claimed would prohibit discrimination but it didn't include any further mention of job reservations and most states haven't even enforced the 2014 ruling on reserving government jobs for trans folks except one Karnataka this organization that works for sexual minorities in Karnataka called Sangama filed a petition against the government in the high court of Karnataka saying that these posts must be announced for transgender people as well at par with men and women and it was this petition that led to the government actually coming out with an act which says that there would be 1% horizontal reservation given to transgender people across all public jobs this petition was filed and fought for by human rights lawyer bt venkatesh for decades venkatesh has been helping india's trans folks against the rampant systemic violence One of his biggest wins is this petition in Karnataka's High Court. I never thought in fact the this amount of change would happen in my lifetime. So now when you when you call for an employment from that of municipal administration to the lowest rank to that of the highest rank in the state whether the transgender person belongs to an upper caste community 1% if the person belongs to scheduled caste One percent. So this is something which is an extraordinary thing which Karnataka government did. While Venkatesh is trying to create more employment opportunities by changing the law, private initiatives are finding other ways. One of them is Periphery, a small agency dedicated to getting trans people job ready. Since 2017, over 240 trans trainees have gone through their program free of charge. A new batch of around 20 students just started their classes and for today's session they were asked to present how they envision their futures. It's a rainy day here in Bangalore but I'm hoping that we're heading into some sunshine. I'm really looking forward to meeting this new batch they started just 4 days ago. Who wants to go first from the fight the presentation? Okay first up we have Kiran who's going to present her vision. Can you round us up Kiran? I made this chart and I mentioned my visions, how I am, what I want to achieve and what my goals would be. I want a dignified job. He want to become a teacher and he want to become a motivational guy. What I want to become? She's a mother. Tirunangai nalai vandu paliyal thodilukku पिक्चर पदरका का मतलब ना पोवा अंग आप दिन रामाद्री इन्होंडे या फ्रेंड्स में वांधे आ उनके यार बेल कर पा बट आउंगे आउंगे को मुनाले ना काटन ना अपनी कड़े आते These trainees will live here for two months, improve their English, learn computer skills, and feel something they never have in the outside world, a sense of belonging. I was asked to share my experience with these students too. 
So for this next session, we're going to have an important personality among us, Gazal Daliwal. And the fact that she's here, I can see all your energy are charged up. Can you welcome her? Put a big round of applause for Gazal. Thank you. I have to say I was just extremely moved. There was a time when I was where you all are uh, right now, where there's a conflict about dreams and reality. When you know you have merit, you have capabilities, but you feel like the opportunities are limited because of your identity. So many, so many challenges. These challenges in finding employment are also intertwined with the most basic need for authentic identity. Many have other pressing desires outside their job, like transitioning and being accepted. Like people always ask this question, don't you think uh, you are going against nature? You know, men go to saloons and cut their hair. That's against nature. It's about how you look at it, right? This is my nature. This is who I am by nature. You will also need to have a little patience with them. This is completely new for them. You have lived with it for 20 years, 21 years. You've taken that long to finally accept yourself. You have to give them at least some percentage of that much time. It's a time-consuming process to learn and to upskill. Some people lose patience. Oh, I sat for one interview, I didn't get a job. Let me just give this up. Let me go back to prostitution. Let me go back to begging. How can they overcome this struggle? I respect all kinds of work. Even sex work is work. If somebody is consenting to it, let people judge you. Doesn't matter. Who gives a shit? I'm a heroine here. I'm gonna work. When somebody is rejecting you, it's important that you don't reject yourself. Today, being among this group of people, reminded me that it was not easy. It takes superhuman effort to be a trans person. I would like to ask all these people who make fun of them, who think they are subjects of mockery, to come and live a trans person's life for even one day. They will realize that they don't have even 1% of the guts that we have. Maybe we all can stand for one another. If one person progresses, everybody progresses. And if everybody progresses, one person progresses. The very embodiment of this progress is Zainab Patel. As a teenager, she joined the Hijra community, who encouraged her to study and protected her from rampant discrimination in college. Now, she is one of the most successful trans figures in India's corporate world. I made up my mind, I'm going to challenge every given stereotype. I'm going to break every given mindset. I was meant to be beautiful, I was meant to be charming, and I was meant to be a professional. So would you say that there is this certain kind of burden that you have to carry yes. as a role model? First of all, I never considered myself to be a role model. In a country of a billion plus people, one person is a director, one person. And is that cause for celebration or is it cause or time for introspection? After getting a management degree, Zainab started her career at non-profit organizations, only to find that the stigma of being trans continued to follow her. Came to Mumbai, started working first in an NGO. Then I moved on to a corporate NGO which did development and art. And I thought that, okay, here is an opportunity for me to do better, you know. And this executive director of this organization made a very snarky comment one day saying that if we do not give jobs to people like them, who would? And for one moment, it stripped me of all the skills that I had, all the hard work that I put in skilling myself, educating myself, to be realized that at best, you are only a stereotype. We don't have a glass ceiling. We only have a concrete ceiling. And why is it a concrete ceiling? Because every year what I do to surpass myself becomes my benchmark for the following year. In the glass ceiling, you can actually see what's on top. 
What do you think is the way forward? Bangalore government has come out with that 1% uh, reservation for transgender people in public jobs. Do you think that's the solution? Yes, it does help. It will help a certain section of people who would fit within the bracket of the qualification. Yes. What happens to people who don't or who would not want those type of jobs? So to break that norm, guzzle, it's a very difficult thing. But that happens with education, re-education, challenging your own stereotypes, providing opportunities. And that's where you make the change happen. And that requires the entire society, from the government to private companies, to be held accountable. Not just for trans people's basic right to work, but also for a more diverse and accepting workforce. Places like Periphery are one of the ways to success. After training there, these three women landed good jobs. Which uh, company are you working at? Uh, currently, I'm working for HP. I'm working in Amazon. You're working in Amazon? Yeah. And is this the first time you're working as your true identity? It's my first time. It's your first time? It's pretty nice uh, hearing like the name that I prefer being called out over the meeting as opposed to, uh, you know, my legal name. The word itself is uh, something that I just, what I wanted. And uh, moreover, we have changed a lot, our personality. What we were in the past and we, what we are now. We are enjoying the pride now. What is the aspiration where you want to reach eventually? Something where I can help people. In my opinion, dream job is that where you get respect. I want to be work in a space where everybody is considered as equal. But for most trans people out there, making a living is still an ongoing fight. And it's not just against bosses who might misgender them or bad workplace cultures. It's against a world that doesn't acknowledge their existence in the first place. We get happy with the bare minimum that's being done. But it, it creates this system or this society that wherein cisgender people feel like just by doing the bare minimum, that is actually what we need or that's actually what we require. We are not okay with the bare minimum. We've had the privilege of being educated or we've had the privilege of reaching out to periphery, of knowing how the internet works. There are a lot of transgender women in India who don't even get that opportunity because they're shunted from the moment they're born. They get pushed into this box of, okay, we will not educate you, we will not let you be happy. तो बाहर आने से उनका सेफ्टी कौन देखते है कोई देखने वाला है तो इतना साल से मैं बाहर आया तो मुझे इतना क्राइसिस हुआ इतना टाइम हो गया तो क्यों हमको नहीं मिलता कि वर्किंग क्लास कम्युनिटी का हमेशा नीचे रहना है कम्युनिटी वी हैव टू बी मोर डिमांडिंग इट्स ओनली लाइक टुगेदर दैट वी कैन ओवरकम लाइक द मेनी इश्यूज इन अ सोसाइटी